Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a Ben's haul. So last week on Thursday and Friday, I got to go to the Ben's for two days. My husband actually had a meeting over there and he stayed overnight, so I went with him. And on Thursday, we went to the Ben's together before he had to get to his meeting. And he found quite a few things that I probably should not have gotten but I did like having him with me and it was, he actually is the one that found like the most valuable thing that I bought at the bins for the whole, for the two days. So I'm very thankful he found that even though he knows nothing about thrifting and reset, like he finds the most random stuff, but he did good this time. So, um, that being said, there's quite a few things in this haul that I really shouldn't have picked up, but like, whatever, it's fine. Um, Next time I'll do better. So basically I was there on Thursday for about, we were there probably for like three, three-ish hours or so, maybe a little longer. Not super long because there was really bad traffic getting there and then we had to leave and make sure he got to where he was going on time. Um, and then the next day I got to go back by myself and I was there probably for like five hours. So I was there at least, I would say around eight hours getting all of this and the total that I spent, I need to recount, but the total that I spent was $195. So I think I had about 127 pieces and I wanna say it was like $1.50 for an item, but that was like a rough, like I quickly counted and I might've missed a few pieces. So I did get home, I got it all washed, everything that needed to be washed, which was everything that didn't have tags on it basically. Um, and a couple of things that were like cashmere. I did not wash those obviously, but, um, but everything else is washed, cleaned, steamed. I've gotten quite a few listed and actually I've sold three that I need to ship today. So that's why I'm like, I have to do this video so I can get those three items out today. So please, please, please let me know what you think about this video. Um, what you think about the items I got, I guess. So like if you would have picked up the same stuff or if you like, I don't know. I'm just very curious on if people agree with me or not. So I'm going to start with the stuff that's hanging up right here, just because I didn't want to take it off the hangers or like get it wrinkled since I already steamed it. This is this next little bit of stuff that I'm going to list or photograph and list. So huh, I'm out of breath already. It's exciting guys. I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm having such a good time with the bins and then selling things from the bins. I don't know why, I know some people prefer like those high dollar items, but this is just really fun to me. So I just feel the, the more expensive things I get, I just feel like I'm sitting and waiting on them to sell and it just takes forever. But I don't know. I just, this has been really fun for me. So, okay. So this, this little tripod that my phone is recording on is a little short for me. So I'll try to make sure I stay in the frame. Okay, here we go. Okay, I grabbed this and this is definitely a women's. I had to look this up, but this, I thought this was super cute. It's just Ralph Lauren and it has like a little gingham lining and it's kind of like, I like the material, I don't know. So I grabbed this. I think this should be um, pretty quick sale. Also, I did want to say real quick, I, when I was there, in my head, I want to be able to list it Whatever I pick up, I want to be able to list it for at least $20. That's kind of like my pro my thinking. Now, there's a lot of things in here that probably don't qualify for that. And that's just my mistake because sometimes it gets thrown in the cart. And then I don't really realize I still have it when I go check out. It's fine. So most of these things, I think I can list them for at least $20. And considering it's like $1.50 an item, you know, I'm happy to take like a 15 to $20 offer on some things. Okay, so there's one. Um, next item, this was just Chico's and this actually looked new. I, I'm pretty sure it was not, it was not worn or used, um, but I did wash it. So now it's just, it looks a little bit, a little bit, um, it looks a little less new, but that's okay. Uh, but it is just Chico's and it is, um, the ultimate tea. So I looked this, I did look this up and they were selling. So I just grabbed it. Um, next I found Michael Simon. This is actually Michael Simon light. 
but it had like the lighthouses, it had all the designs, and it did actually have one stain on the back right here, so I'm just gonna disclose that, but I do still think I can get like $30 for this. Next was just a torrid top. Pretty basic, but a nice work top, I thought. And torrid seems to sell fast for me. Okay, this, you guys tell me if you would list this or not. I'm leaning towards no, but I bought it just because I've never found this brand before and I could not leave it. So it's just a tank top. It has like, I'm thinking um, spray tan stains under the arms. This one's not, this side's not so bad, but this side, it's not great. But the brand, and I'm not gonna say that right, but it is silk. I did try to get it out. I did, I did hand wash it and steam it. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know if this is just a donate at this point or if I should try to get something for it, but Okay, next, this was also one of those things I, I really think it was new without tags, but I did wash it just because, um, but it was just out from under, which is Urban Outfitters, and I just thought it was super cute. So I grabbed it. This is one my husband grabbed, and I probably shouldn't have, but I just feel like this is kind of just not super interesting, but it's just an older, Ralph Lauren polo, long sleeve. I don't know if it's flannel. I don't think it's flannel. Next. Super cute top. I also think this one was not worn. This one still had the like button tag on the inside, but it's Jay McLaughlin. And if you look up like the Paisley tops like this, I feel like these are like the better sellers of this brand. Okay, this. At the bins, y'all, at the bins. So there was, <laughs> this shirt had a flaw. It still has a flaw. Um, if you can see like right here, it had like a tiny little like bleach spot, like a little just faded little bleach spot. And I could not leave it behind. So I came home and it is size large, like I'm gonna keep this. But I came home and I used, I have like a million permanent markers just from school of a million colors. So I grabbed one that was like this kind of olivey color and I sharpied the little section right there and washed it. And I mean, you can still see it, but it is not that big of a deal. So. I mean, I think I probably could sell it and just disclose that there's like a spot right there, but this is my size, so I'm definitely going to keep it. And I'm not really sure, I was, it's hanging here so I could show you guys, but it doesn't need to stay there. Um, I just grabbed this. This is just a Patagonia little tank top with a shelf bra inside. Um, size medium. So this one was super cute, feels really nice. This was another one my husband found and I just took it because I was glad he was trying to help me. But you know, this is just Lauren, Ralph Lauren, but it is linen. So this is like a linen top with like a little sheer bottom detail. This is, a, I thought this was really cute, but it's just soft surroundings and it's a size large, but it has all this like embroidery, like cut out detail. So I thought it was pretty. Next, this is plus size. So I thought it was cute. It is Land's End 2X, just like a career top. This is another one I don't know if I should have gotten, but that's okay. Um, Carl Lagerfeld, another career top. This one I grabbed for myself, but I'm going to list it just because it's Florida and I don't, you know, and if it, this doesn't sell in like six months, I'll definitely keep it for myself. Um, but it is Kinsey, but it has like all this like pretty embroidery all over it. So pretty. 
This is a Lily Pulitzer sweater. Hmm. I didn't do such a good job on getting all the lint off, but it has a little ruffle sleeve, which I think will help it sell. Um, found this dress and it just has like a back cutout and it is torrid, torrid size three. I found this career top and it is Stitch Fix and it was new with tags and it's plus size. It's Collective Concepts 3X. This one, I, this is another one. I don't know if I should have grabbed. You guys tell me. I didn't know at the time. It looked, look, it looked like a nice brand. I think it is a nice brand, but I just didn't see a whole lot of like good sales. Um, Worth New York. I don't know. This is a We The Free, but it's, it just has these super duper bell, bell sleeves, flare sleeves, I don't know what these are called, but um, yeah, so, and I didn't see any issues with it at all. This is, of course it's an extra small, but this is a super cute little Eileen Fisher cardigan. This is a J. Wow, a J. Crew cardigan. Uh, Y'all, I hate I hate photographing black. I don't know why black gives me such a hard time, but that's okay. I got this just because I it was super lightweight and it was plus size, but it is Catherine's black label, and I did look this up before and it was it was selling like this was selling so i'm hoping i can list that for like 20. this is one i grabbed thinking my husband might want it but it's just a vineyard vines extra large i don't know we might keep it this is another one i grabbed but um thought it was super cute but i i don't really love the slim fit t-shirts but tampa Today, I don't know, today is Wednesday. No, Wednesday? Yeah, today's Wednesday, February 1st. And Tom Brady just announced that he officially is retiring. So everybody here is kind of sad. But um, this is a linen dress. And it is made in Italy, but it's the brand Rosemarine. Rose, Rosemarine. So this, I mean, there were not a ton of, but there were some soles. So I did grab it and I just thought it was really cute. I got this dress and it's just like a ribbed Banana Republic. So that's extra large, but this one was also like from recent, 20, 2021. So this is a new style. I got this little nightgown and it is the brand it has like all this beading but it is i'm pretty sure it's vintage it's the brand dentel but i just thought it was so pretty grab this dress this is also a torrid dress just like a ribbed knit size two Found this Lulu's dress, just a basic wrap dress. It is as extra small, which, but it did, there's nothing wrong with it. I didn't see any issues at all. Um, I did find this is not going to be a great seller, but this is my first time finding this brand. It is the Great, and it's just like a kind of like a midi dress, like tank tank dress. So I'm pretty sure I can list it for maybe like 30. I found this linen dress and it's just Michael Kors, but I don't typically, I don't always pick up Michael Kors. I definitely don't pick it up at the regular thrift store, but I just thought it was really cute. So I think I should be able to sell this for at least 20. I found this Lulu's dress. 
and it's just kind of like a it has like a sheer front and back cover like a flowy it is a size medium it's strapless And last thing over here is another linen piece, but this is like a jumps, like a romper, and it's Banana Republic, Banana Republic Public Factory, and this is from 2022, I believe. Well, I don't see the tag right now, but yeah, summer of 2022. So this is like a brand new style. So I grabbed that. So that's everything from over here. So I'm gonna transition to the stuff on the floor. So hold on. Okay, I'm back. So let's continue. Um, oh, I do have a few more things on hangers, but look at this guys, North Shore Tennis Club. Okay, so this brand, retro brand. So this is apparently free people, some sort of like something to do with free people. So this was regularly $98. It's distressed, like it's supposed to have like holes all over it, but this has been washed. It was brand new when I got it out. It didn't have tags, but when I picked it out of that bin, I, you could tell it was brand new. And then I thought this just seems so, it felt so nice. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this will be a pretty good sale. This is one I grabbed, I don't really know why. I do this every time, but Beach Lunch Lounge. I just feel like it. I like this brand so much, but it's just a basic little tie, tie top. This, okay, this brand, I grabbed it because it looks nice, but I don't know how good of a sale it's gonna be. The brand is Habitual, and it does have like a dry cleaner tag, but it's like a cropped top and it kind of like wraps around and ties. So I think it should be okay, but I don't know for sure. And then I found this top and it's Alice and Olivia. And it has these like green buttons. The bottom button is loose though. And I do not have thread this color, so I don't, I've got to figure out how to repair this, but I mean, it's still cute. I just, this is one. So I have two things that I could not find stock photos for or like a, the name of it or anything. I mean, this is, it still has a fabric tag. It's like silk and cotton blend. Um, so yeah, I don't know about this one. And then this is the other one that I could not find a stock photo for like that. I just, I don't know had to have existed at some point in time. Um, but this is just a wool, 100% wool sweater. And it's like a big chunky cable knit sweater, super cute. But it is Ted Baker, size five, which is like, I think like extra large or something. Um, it has a little Ted Baker tag on the bottom. I did sweater shape this a little bit and try to clean it up just a little bit, but I don't know, I could not, could not find one like this anywhere. So I'd spent too much time searching this sweater because I thought at first this was like such a great find, but then I couldn't find one like it. So I don't know. Okay, keep going. I think this is one my husband found. He likes Ralph Lauren, obviously. So this is just a Ralph Lauren sweater, but this one was actually really cute. And it has like the gold buttons on the side. And this one does have a tiny flaw that I did try to get it out oh, right here. So like on the front, there's like a little tiny stain like right here. So I'm just going to list it and note the stain because it really has no wear other than that. Okay, this is mostly the stuff I've already listed, but this is a silk top and it's this one also is Michael Kors, but it has like the Michael Kors buttons and it's silk and it, I could not find one issue with it. So I did grab this. I think I listed that for around 25 just to see. Um, I found this brand and this apparently is a good brand to pick up if you ever find it. it is new with tags, but the brand is Galago Desportes. It's French, I believe. Um, but I think it's like that legging look, the oversized. So this one I think I listed in like the $50 range found this J. Crew cashmere sweater 
and it's in really, really great condition. There's like one tiny, tiny spot under the sleeve, like you can barely see it. Um, but I loved that. This is one thing that already sold, sold super quick for I think about in the 20, um, 20 to 25 dollar range. I can't remember exactly, but I need to ship this today. But it is a BB and it's 100% cashmere black sweater. So, so soft. Um, this is also something I sold already. So cute. So this is just, this is, I would not, I would never pick this up at a thrift store, but I found it at the bins and it was like brand new. It looked amazing. Obviously I did wash it, um, but it's Janie and Jack. And this sold for, I think, I listed it for 29 and then my Poshmark sent out an offer for 23 and the person took it right away, like the first day I listed it. So probably could have gotten a little more, but that's okay. I mean, you know, at the bins, this probably cost me like 50 cents. Um, I got this top. This was laying on top of a bin, just laying there. So just somebody had just like thrown it back. I've totally picked over bins and that's, also something I do want to say, I never wait in line to get to the new bins. I always just go through all the bins that people have already been at and I found all this stuff. Um, but this is Acris and it's just like a white button down top. There's nothing wrong with it. It's kind of like an off, like an ivory. Um, this is one I probably shouldn't have gotten. I did list it kind of low, but it's just a linen, a men's J. McLaughlin linen, like collar, like polo shirt. Um, I found three little Janie and Jack bathing suits in the same size and they're from 2021. So I got these and I listed them, I lotted them up and I listed them together. And I think I listed them for like 35 or 40, something like that. So I mean, I'm hoping I can get like 30 for those. Um, another little baby item, and I just felt this and saw the smocking and I knew that it had to be something really nice. Well, this brand, Luli and Me, is sold at like Neiman Marcus. And these are retail like $80. So I listed this for like 30 or 30 something dollars. I think, I don't remember exactly. Um, I found this little t-shirt and the brand is Nation LTD. So I sold a top of this brand recently for like $50. So that's a brand that I know is sold at Revolve. I don't know much else about it, but hopefully, I think I listed that for like 25. Um, this, not sure I should have gotten this, but it's super nice. And it's just Tommy Bahama, a cotton, little sweater and it is supposed to be like the fading like the faded garment dyed so i thought it was really cute okay this is the last thing that i have to ship today but it is just a blazer and i sold this for 38 i really didn't know like comps but i listed it for 45 somebody offered me 38 i just took it um, but it's calvin klein and it's linen so very nice and i think this is going to brazil so I'll get that shipped out today okay I keep going this one well, probably shouldn't have picked this up but that's okay it's just a half zip pullover but it's just a bank and it is 100 percent merino wool um i found this super nice and for those of you that are still here still watching I am gonna save the couple, the two favorite things, I'm gonna save those for last. So if you wanna see the two best things I got, just skip up till the end. But um, this, I thought this was super nice. This is a Michael Kors suede jacket and it's navy. Like I never see leather that's a navy, first of all. Second of all, I can't find anything wrong with it. And last, it still has the price tag in the pocket and it was $895. So I don't know if you can see that, but craziness. So I already have this list. I think I only listed it for like 130 because it's, you know, the end of the season, but hopefully 
If I could get that to sell for like 80 or $90 quickly, I'm happy. Um, I did grab this silk scarf. It's not branded or anything, but I just thought it was cute. So I grabbed it. I have, I don't know if I'm going to even list it, but, um, my husband found this. <laughs> it has some stains, but it's just a Gucci, um, little dust bag. If I do decide to list this, I, I mean, I think I can get like 15 for it. I found this and it is new with tags. I think it has, I, I just closed that it has like a little bit of like wear, I think just from storage, but um, it does have like the little pouch inside, but just a little Betsy Johnson tote. Okay, there's a few like random things in here. Again, some of this is from my husband. So he did pick up this like blank, it's not a blank, I don't know, it's a blanket of some kind, but he said he needed something to like when he works on the car and stuff like that, just to throw on the ground. So I said, whatever, and let him get that. <laughs> um, this sweater, I did kind of pick this up for myself because I just loved it so much. It did have a stain on it. I did get it out easily, um, but it is blue and gray. It says extra large. And it, it's like a wool alpaca blend. I think it's like cotton too, but I don't know what it is, but so pretty. Um, I found this sheet and it was like brand new. It looked amazing. And I looked for the rest of the set of sheets so badly because I always am looking for nice sheets for my kids. Um, but this is called the peach skin sheet. And I'd never heard of it before, but these are kind of expensive. So basically I got this, it's just a flat sheet and I do my measurements like with a sheet and then with a, the sheet as the background and I needed a new one. So it worked out perfectly. I barely paid anything for it. Uh, and then this, so I mean, like these bigger items, you know, had to have been several dollars. Um, but this, I'm going to keep this for myself also. This is a like coverlet, but it is the brand Vermont Country Store. And it's just like the white seersucker. And I think this is about $130 on their website. And um, it actually is king size. So I was, it says king size. There was no question about it. I searched it. I could not find one single stain, nothing. It was just like a perfect, yeah, I don't know. So I get hot when I sleep. And so I like things that are lighter weight. And so I love it. Oh, y'all, I still have a lot to go. I'm probably maybe halfway, not even. I'm sorry. It's so long, but I just have to share all this stuff with you guys because it's just so good. Most of it, some of it, half of it. Um, I grabbed these jeans just because they were in perfect condition and they were like a newer style, um, but they don't have like any distressing or anything. So I don't know how quick of a sale they'll be, but they're just American Eagle mom jeans. So hopefully I can list those for about 20. Maybe. Um, this is one I probably should not have gotten also, but it's a little black mini skirt, but the brand is Wilfred Free. And I just saw Wilfred and I just grabbed it, but I don't know how easy of a sale. I don't know. I'll have to, um, this is also something I don't know if I should have picked up. It's, I think it's an expensive brand. I just don't think that this is like a hot item from this brand. Um, but it's just a skirt with like a paper bag kind of waist, but the brand is Bell. What is it? Bell Pogue. I don't know, Bell Pogue. So we'll see. I don't, it feels like linen. I can't remember if I looked. Okay, this is one I'm not listing. This is something my husband threw in the cart and I didn't realize, but um, it's just Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Um, but it does have, it's, there's no issues with it. Well, maybe there is. Yeah, this is definitely not getting listed. So this is gonna be a loss right here. Um, I found a set. So this is Chico's and it's like the long maxi skirt, I guess. 
and it's size three, but it's not, it doesn't say Travelers, it says Chico's Design. So it has the skirt and the little jacket. So I'm gonna put those together and hopefully I can list that for like 30. This, this is the stuff my husband finds, y'all. The Spider-Man math. I don't know. Um, I grabbed these for one of my sons. They're just like little swim trunks. They're the brand trunks, but we conveniently leave our swim trunks everywhere we go. I grabbed these for one of my kids too. They're just a pair of Adidas shorts. Um, I'm going to sell this. This is one my husband grabbed. You know, his brands obviously are Ralph Lauren, Under Armour, Nike. Like, that's what he looks for. Um, but I am going to sell this because I do think it is a newer style. It's just a, a girl's tank top. Um, these are also for one of my children. They're just a pair of Under Armour, like, sleep pants, basically. They're lightweight. Um, oh, this is, I grabbed these for myself. They're just like cotton, you know, lightweight leggings, but they are offline by American Eagle or Aerie or whatever. Um, so I found three of these shirts and I'm not sure if they were like McDonald's employee shirts. They're so cute. Um, but these were selling for like 20 bucks each. So I'm going to give one, this one is, has a little spot on it. So this one is going to go to a kid and then I have two more that I'm going to sell. This is just a little t-shirt we got for one of the boys. Um, y'all look at these socks. Um, this is Nike socks, Under Armour socks, Nike socks. When you have a husband and three teenage sons, like you need socks, Reebok socks. So I grabbed all these, they're all washed, ready to go. I got these for myself because I'm the only one that's ever cold, but they are 35 below thermal socks and they don't look warm. They're, I mean, they're in such nice condition. Um, Okay, I got this and I think I'm keeping this also, but it says Grand Ole Opry and it just has like a list of all the Grand Ole Opry singers. I'm from Kentucky if anybody doesn't know, so. Um, this is just a Santa Cruz t-shirt we got for the boys. This is to sell, but this is a Starbucks t-shirt. So I think I should both sell this for like 25. This is a t-shirt we got for the boys. It's just um, Billabong, I think. Yeah, super cute. This is a t-shirt we got for the boys, soccer. Here are the other two McDonald's t-shirts that I'm gonna list. Here is a Batman t-shirt we got for the boys. I y'all, if it looks like a t-shirt that has bat, I would never even pick it up, but that's what my husband looks for, so. Um, he got this t-shirt because he thought it was funny. It says Homeland Security. Let's see. This, oh, I did, I grabbed this maybe for myself, but it is just a Fabletics, like little, cross front tank top. So I'm going to try that on and just see. Um, this I'm going to, this is to sell. This is a Tommy Copper little women's shirt. This, I'm going to try to sell this. this. I don't think this is like going to be a great sale, but it is just Gymshark. It has a cutout in the back and it has thumb holes, sleeves. Um, this is for one of the boys. It's just a t-shirt and it is Billabong again. These, I don't know how good of a sale these are going to be, but these are just a pair of Nike shorts. 
They're size 42 and they're just like not um, Nike golf. So figured why not? Oh, this is the lone Lululemon thing I found both day, either day. So one Lululemon, but it's a pair of men's shorts. Pretty sure, yeah, these are definitely the Lululemon. Again, just laying in a bin that people just walked right past. Um, miracle suit, swimsuit. Love selling these. I got one, I got a miracle suit swimsuit at the bins last time and it sold like within less than a week for like $45. So, and I think this is a newer style because the tag is the newer tag. Um, I got this, this was kind of cute. This is vintage. And it is a sarong, like for, to cover up your bathing suit, but it is Jacques Rollet. I don't know, but I saw this and I saw his name printed on the fabric and it had a tag and I don't know. So um, some of these were selling. So even though it's vintage, like it's, yeah. So I think hopefully I list that for like 25 or 30. Um, I did, this is one more Lululemon piece, I guess. But this is girls, the, Girl, little girls Lululemon. It's I, I don't know how to say it, Iviva. But it's size eight, little romper. So I think that will be like a $30 sale. This, I just thought it was so pretty and I thought it would photograph so well, but it is Maxine of Hollywood and it is size 14, so. I just grabbed this. We might be keeping this, but it's just an elf Christmas shirt. Um, this is a Chico's Traveler's little tank top. And this is a fleece. Huh, Y'all, I'm tired of talking. Um, it is a fleece LL Bean men's half zip so push that out of the way let's keep going we're getting closer we're getting closer still i'm gonna save the best stuff for the end um this is a dress that i just thought was so pretty if i can find oh i think it's inside out maybe So it goes like this, like it's asymmetrical and it's a long maxi length, but it's BCBG Max Azria and I couldn't find anything wrong with it. And I just thought it was like very classic, simple, Ben's prices, so I grabbed it. Um, I got this one for myself. Uh, Cause I have another one just like this, but black, but it is unique glow. And like, I love how these sweatshirts feel like they feel so nice. So I don't know. I, I grabbed it. Um, I found these adorable shorts that are a very new style from Athleta and it says 12. So super cute. Happy about those. I found these. And these are, I've never seen this before, but they are men's um, Levi's, but they are like the Pride Edition Levi's. So they have a little rainbow tag. I grabbed these to keep for myself. They don't say Ray Dunn, but I'm thinking they are. I don't know, but they're just two king size pillowcases. And this is another thing that looked brand new. It did not look washed. It's been washed now, but pretty sure not used. I grabbed these. These had a stain and I was able to get the stain out as far as I can tell so far. I have not taken pictures of these, but just a pair of Nike white shorts. Okay, this is one I'm not listing. For sure not listing it. I don't know. This was one of the first things I found it got like pushed down to the bottom of the cart and I didn't actually go through the bottom of the cart because I, my cart was so full by the time we left. And on the first day when we were leaving, we were kind of like rushing to leave. 
So, um, this is like a Gantt flyer jacket and I thought it looked like brand new. I mean, I think it's vintage, but it has the big like shoulder sun damage stain like stain or marks on it or whatever so I mean um there's and that weighed probably two pounds so kind of sad about that one um these are a couple of this one my husband picked up and I could have choked him when I realized he got it um it is disgusting but it's a Disney art of animation t-shirt and it has like Mater on the back and I know that's why he got it because one of our sons was obsessed with cars when he was little so this is that's gonna be a loss because it's disgusting this one I did pick this one up even though just because I could tell it was super vintage um it is a Snoopy, a vintage Snoopy t-shirt, or I don't know, Raglan, not really Raglan, but Henley type shirt. Um, the tag is definitely like so worn, like there's nothing there, so I don't have a size. It's not white like it should be. Um, the only thing I can tell, like on this, I know it's not, this picture must be from 1958, but the actual date on the logo right here is 1958. So I don't know what to do with this. It's not in good condition. It has like holes and wear, but I don't know. So I was at the bins. This is just like a little story real quick. I was at the bins and I was kind of like standing there, like looking up a few things on my phone and I was listening to what was going on in the back and you could just hear the trash compactor. Or I don't know if it's a trash compactor, but, um, when I used to work in retail, like they had like the big thing that you would put all the cardboard in basically and it would squish it together and like bail it all up or whatever. And then it would get recycled or taken to like somewhere else or whatever. Well, they have that apparently and that makes, it makes a lot of noise and they just put all this stuff that doesn't get bought at the Goodwill bins into one of those compactors and just like cube it up into like this big bale of clothes and it goes, I don't know, does it go to other countries? Does it go to needy people somewhere? Does it just go straight to the landfill? I don't know, it's uh, it's very like, I don't, it's hard. It's hard to like think about that and like really like understand like what's happening with all of these clothes and how sad it is if it is going straight to the landfill. Um, it's almost like you want to research, but you don't. So I don't know. It's, it's kind of crazy because they were, they were like stacked. I mean, there were just so many in the back of, of the location I went to. Um, okay. Sorry. I'm gonna keep going. Um, I found this little, this is a top actually, and it's free people. And this is actually a newer style, a newer style. So I was happy about it. Um, but it's just a little strapless, like little tunic. Um, my husband got this. Y'all, I can't take him back, right? I mean, I have to leave him home. Because <laughs> look at this. <laughs> um, I got this. This was also one of the first things I found. And it got pushed to the bottom of the cart. And I never checked it. It it has um, some wear. It's not super clean. It's um, the brand Travel On. Let me see. Um, I might try to clean it and sell it because I mean they do I do think if it was a nice one I could sell it for like 30 bucks but I don't see the logo on it right away but I don't know if this one's gonna clean up good enough to sell so this one is a question mark um, we got a few other hats this one is a hockey but it's also a police officer like the blue line so he grabbed that his brother's my brother-in-law is a police officer and his wife is also a police officer um this we got for one of our kids it's just a ford mustang he's all into cars um this one i think i'm gonna sell just because it is new it still has the cardboard in it but it is tito's um i found this it is just a Lily Pulitzer, like little cooler bag or I don't know, bucket cooler, I think is what it's called. 
Um, I can't sell this for like 20 bucks. And I really, I got this with the plans of keeping it, but I don't, I don't have anything to do with this. I don't need this because I have regular coolers. So I do think I'm going to list that. Um, and this is listed already. I did try to list a few of these bags already. Um, this is Sack Roots and it looked in like new condition. It's like a beach bag and it can expand. But I think I listed this for like 45 maybe. So super nice. I listed this one already. This is a vintage, like one of those little handbags and the, the cover comes off and it also has an extra cover in here. Um, so these were selling for like 25. So I went ahead and it's this brand. If you're curious, I went ahead and got that. Just, there's nothing, I saw nothing wrong with it. So it's kind of exciting. I grabbed this one. I did list this one already. This is a fossil. I think this is definitely like an older, an older piece. It still has a key, um, but it felt really nice and there was like no wear on it. So I listed that for, I listed that maybe for like 25 or 30. Um, I grabbed this belt just because, I don't know, I'm into selling leather belts now apparently, but it was super cute. And it is the brand Zele, Zele, and it says Atlanta, Georgia, and it's size small. Um, okay, here's two other things that are, it's going to be a loss. Um, this was, it was, I finished ruining it, um, a St. John, like little tank top knit sweater. It did have stains right here, like pretty bad stains, you can still see them, but I soaked it and apparently I soaked the color out of it. I don't know if I put OxyClean or something, I don't know. So this is completely ruined, which is fine. This is also one, this is one my husband found. It is, it's not Tommy Bahama, but it's Bamboo K. And it's super cute. It has like the embroidery on the back. It had a couple of blood stains on the front and I was trying to clean them and I literally like ripped a hole in it and the blood stains would not come out and I just was like, I just gave up. So I don't know if you can see that's the worst of it, but so that's, yeah, I'm not selling that. This I grabbed, but I don't, this is probably just going to get donated again, redonated, but it was like a cute little bag. And I just felt like it must be something nice, but this is the brand. I think it's from a different country. I don't think it's anything special. Okay, so we're down to a few more things. A couple more things that I'm not listing. So this is just a men's suit jacket and I did not inspect it very well. It is Christian Dior. And part of me just wants to list it, but they really aren't selling for that much, but it does have a few little tiny holes in it. And just, it's just not in the condition that I want to list it. So, and then this other one, I wasn't really sure about this one. I didn't, I grabbed it and I don't know why I didn't like look it up a little better because it seemed nice. But it is a leather jacket, leather coat. Of course, this probably cost me like $6 based on weight. But it is Calvin Klein. I think it's vintage Calvin Klein. I'm not sure though. Um, but it does have like some black marks right here and a little bit on the sleeve right here. So I have not decided what I want to do with this. If I want, if I, if it's worth listing, if it's, the other thing is it's, you know how most leather is like pretty soft. This is more of like a stiff leather. I mean, it does say genuine leather. I mean, it definitely is leather. I can't imagine this is like a fake. I mean, it feels like leather, but it just, it's not soft and supple. Like I think of leather. I don't know. What do y'all think? I don't think it was worn much. 
I mean, somebody in Florida probably owned it and wore it like twice every season, if that. So what would you guys do with this Calvin Klein coat, jacket? Okay, a few more. Found this coach, which I don't think this is a super desirable coach. I will still list it. It's really in not bad condition. There's a little bit of marks on the bottom. The inside isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, so we'll try it. I grabbed this one. This one does have a couple spots on it, but if this one felt really nice. And so that I went, I bought this based on just how it felt and the quality. But the brand is B. Makowski. B. Makowski. I don't know. Some of them were selling. I am gonna list it. We'll see what I see what this brings. This also was probably like five dollars based on weight. Okay, this was a pretty good find, and I've never found this brand before. Um. It's not in the best shape. It's definitely like an older, an older piece, but every, all the zippers work, all the zippers are intact. This, there is a strap there. I mean, it's not in terrible condition, um, but the brand is Tumi, T-U-M-I. If you don't know, this is like the brand to look for. If I go, like if I go to our local Salvation Army or whatever, I always just walk through and look at the briefcases real quick and just see if this is, this brand is anywhere. And I'm, course been looking for years and never found it so I was super happy to find it at the bins I mean it has like it's brown it is a brown leather all the pockets um let's see it does I mean it, I think the only thing it's missing it's supposed to have like a big tag on it somehow that says to me it does not have that but everything else looks really good so we shall see. I'm thinking I can get maybe like, I think I can list this for around 75, maybe get 40 or 50, hopefully. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, save the best, what, the two things, the best. Okay, so three more things. I grabbed this just because when I actually get around to listing these men's suit coats, I feel like they sell. So this is not the best style, but it is wool and it is chaps by Ralph Lauren. So I didn't see anything wrong with it. So I did grab it. I did list it. I got this one done already. We'll see. We'll see if it sells. Um, okay. So this one, this was probably my personal favorite find. And it was Again, in a completely picked over bin, I was just digging and I grabbed it and I was like, what is that? What is that? And I thought, no, it can't be. Um, but it is just a long sleeve shirt and it is Taylor Swift, Stella McCartney collab. So it's from 2019. Yeah. So this, this does have, I don't know if you can see, it's like a polyester fabric but it does have like that wash wear on it um I don't know like I kind of at one point thought maybe this was like a stain right here but I don't I think it's just the print um I mean it's not perfect it's definitely not perfect but it's not in terrible condition but these were selling for like hundred a hundred dollars and up and it's a size large so it's a good size so I'm hoping I might keep it I haven't decided um but if I do list it, I'm definitely going to list it for at least a hundred. So, and just see, very excited about that. Okay. The last one, this is what my husband found and he just came to me and he's like, this looks pretty good. I also would love to hear from you guys what you guys would list this for, because I have not done anything with this yet. I don't know what to list it for. I, the, I saw one that looked similar, like close but not exactly like this that sold for three hundred dollars on Poshmark um this has a tiny bit of like surface dirt again I don't know if I should get it dry cleaned I don't know if I should list as is I did try to spot treat it a little bit and it looks a little better but 
overall it's in really good condition like there's no holes there's no like major stains there's no it's just like surface dirt from just general wear so okay so it is a coat a big heavy coat okay and it says all about cashmere from Saks Fifth Avenue and if you can see like right here is kind of the worst of it like the the surface dirt is like this is definitely the worst spot on the whole jacket. The sleeves are fine. Okay, so the selling point on this jacket, and I've never found this brand before, and I think it's just the brand, I think the brand is just Saks Fifth Avenue or All About Cashmere or Wild About Cashmere. And they use the fabric from, let me show you, from this brand. Can you see that? It's, um, I think it's ING Loro Piana. So fabric made in Italy, storm system, rain and wind protection, 100% cashmere. So, um, yeah, it's amazing. So I do think that I will be able to list it for at least $200 and pay for this whole haul. I mean, I do think that, I don't know like how, much over 200 I should list it for I don't know I don't know um oh and the one the other thing I wanted to show you about this jacket so I was kind of just checking it out and it has all of the information in the pocket and I did want to see the size what size is it? it's a size 48 um so it has the original receipt it was purchased at Saks Fifth Avenue no it was purchased at off Fifth Avenue, uh, that outlet store for Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, the retail price is $14.95 and it was marked down to $836 and then it was marked down again to $599. I do think this person paid the $599 price. So um, yeah, I don't know. So the tags in the pocket, kind of cool. I've never like owned a $1,500 coat. So what do y'all think? Super nice. But I will save that. I'm not going to list that until maybe like the weekend or early next week because I'll let this video go out first and I want to hear from you guys what you guys would do with it. <sighs> so that's my haul. Not, I don't think that's too bad for $195. So Please let me know what you think in the comments below and I'm so happy that you came back to visit me and I would love to hear from you. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.